Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to install WAMP and create our first MySQL database. Now, I have to tell you, when I first started databasing, I was introduced to a command prompt and scripting techniques for creating tables, and that was a real bummer. And the day I learned about the word LAMP changed my databasing days forever. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And the next day I learned there was such thing as a WAMP and a MAMP, which is a Windows version and the Mac version. So it's a one install package, and you can install the entire package on your server or on your own PC and work with the database from there. And we're going to use something called PHP My Admin. So let's go ahead and install WAMP. So here's the WAMP website. It's at www.wampserver.com. And I'm going to go ahead and download that and install it. So click on Downloads. And download the WAMP2 server. And this will take you to SourceForge, and you'll download this from SourceForge.net. So I've downloaded the WAMP2 executable file on my desktop. Let's move over a little bit so we can see that. Executable. And let's click on that WAMP executable and click on run. And yes. And what this tag means, if you already have a WAMP server uh, installed, this will uninstall it and install the newest version here. And I previously don't have that on this machine, so I'll go ahead and hit yes and next and agree and next and we're going to install this into my C uh, drive in a WAMP folder that's good and we'll skip the icons next and install so what I'm doing I'm actually installing a version of WAMP on my local machine and I'm going to use this version of WAMP to develop programs now there's a lot of a uh, debate over to do this or not. All my friends do this. I have not typically done this in the past. I've actually run directly from my server and done all my own development from my server. However, with Flex 3, there's a reason to uh, actually use this development package. We're going to show you how to set this up with Flex 3 to develop a code to put it up on the server. The reason I haven't done this before in the past, and all my friends have, is because they're smarter than me. But the other reason is, is some of the programs don't always run the same on the WAMP local machine as they do on your server machine. So I've actually uh, kind of saved time, uh, cut some uh, corners, and you're going to see that's always my case. I'm always cutting corners and looking for ways to do things fast. But this definitely is the best way to go as far as development is concerned. So uh, here we go. It's installed, and it's asking me about Firefox. Uh, yes, I do use Firefox, and we can make that our default browser. Uh, I typically go between Firefox and Explorer. Uh, sometimes Firefox is better, sometimes Explorer is better. They're always competing. And, uh, well, it just depends on what day it is. So let's go on with this and finish the installation. Um, I'm, I don't have any SMTP server set up for my uh, mail server, so we'll just skip that and go next. And let's launch it. And so that's it's that easy. I now have a local server on my machine. We use it to develop and create our first MySQL database. Now if you come down here to the uh, system tray, you can see there's a little icon here now. And that icon is my WAMP server. So I can click on that. This is OK, WAMP server version 2. And I'm going to click on that again. Let's bring that up again. I lost it. And click on PHP My Admin. And this uh, software literally just changed my life because now you don't have to enter in through a command line to create databases and tables. You can do that in PHP. So now if you want to create a database, you can just come along here and go, hey, my new database in Create New Database. And hit Create. And whoopee, we have our first new database. And I can actually go in here and create tables one at a time. I'm going to show you how to import a table right now. And we're going to actually do it with a significant problem. We're not going to start with something easy. We're going to start with something we've been working on for a long time. And that's creating a Flex Media Wiki. 
So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by going to my own server and showing you our media wikis that we're running and the tables involved there and we're going to grab that MySQL code and we're going to import it and create a whole new database from that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm actually on my server provider's website right now www.siteground.com and we use SiteGround basically because it's just so cheap they give you so much space 750 gigabytes of web space and it's unlimited MySQL databases which is great for us because we're putting up about 10 databases a week you gotta be careful though this is a shared server which means that sometimes access can be gained to your files of course that's true for any shared server not just SiteGround um, if you're going to keep secure information, you need a VP, a uh, virtual private server. So we're good there. Um, some people don't like SiteGround. I got a negative feedback when I actually did a tutorial on SiteGround. Don't send a negative feedback on this if you don't like SiteGround. I think they're great. Um, I've never had any problems with the system going down. <laughs> great service. They get back with me within 15 minutes, and uh, they're very helpful. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> it just depends on what you like and don't like, and they've done me good. So you may have had a different experience, and if you had, I'm sorry. So let's go on from here uh, and go into my login, and let's go ahead and show you a wiki database. So I've logged into my control panel. Now, depending on what server you're on, your control panel may look different, but all of them should have an option for, go down here a little bit, PHP My Admin. So let's click on PHP My Admin. So here we are in PHP My Admin. You can see we have tons of databases here. And I want to go to something called a Media Wiki. So let's take a look at that. Here's a Media Wiki. And that 34 there means there's 34 tables. Let's double click on that. And here's all the tables. And we're going to recreate that on my local server. So let's export that. So we're going to go to Export. You can also import as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. And let's come down and make sure uh, MySQL is marked SQL, right? And let's click Save as File. And let's go for it. And what it's going to do is export all of that data and also the SQL code needed to create, to recreate that database. So let's save that. Onto my desktop. And I had done that previously, so it's going to resave over that. So let's open that up in WordPad. And here's our exported SQL database. And as you go along here, you can see it's, it's very extensive. And it may look daunting at first, but we're going to be going through all of this and how to create this in following tutorials. But you can see right here, here's a create table, for example. So we're in PHP My Admin. Let's go ahead and create a database. And we'll call it Media Wiki. And let's hit create. And I'm going to click on that. And we could create new tables here, but let's go ahead and import our previous uh exported uh Media Wiki from my site ground. And uh, let's browse and find that database somewhere here on my massively cluttered desktop and there it is right there let's open and click go and what we're doing right now is importing that database to my local system and here you go you see you have 34 tables and here's all the tables and so you've just created your first <laughs> Uh, MySQL database in uh, PHP My Admin. Now, so you might ask, why am I interested in the Media Wiki uh, database? Well, let me just say, we're in the process of actually creating a Flex Media Wiki, and there's some philosophies here. And one is to create a bridge between the PHP code and Flex, and since that bridge will still use the same PHP pages and use the same database and transfer that information back and forth. Or the other is basically start with the database and recreate the whole Media Wiki in Flex. And I've actually worked a lot with the, the latter, trying to uh, create that bridge. And over a period of time, I've become to realize that is very difficult to do. And I've decided just to go ahead and just recreate the Wiki in Flex but use the same PHP database. And so we're going to actually start that process in this series here. 